So in this video, I'm going to discuss how to install Kyle Microvision 5 with legacy support from ARM 7. So first, you type here Kyle in the Microvision 5, and then it will take you to the Kyle download. You select product download, and then C51. This is the main software that first we will be installing. You can put all the names here. Um, uh -huh. Anani, and then, okay. And then the company, URL, job title, teacher, and then, uh, okay. And STM32, and then submit. So this will take you to download section, and this will download C51 V96 stuff EFP for you. Once the download is complete, then you will be installing it. So for that, select this, and this will prompt an administration. So select yes, and then we will install this. You accept the license. This is your main folder, new. Then you write down here. Okay. And then it will take a while to complete the installation. So once the installation is complete, your core package is installed. Then after that, we will be discussing uh, we will be discussing um, uh, how to install MDK. So I can just uncheck this because I don't uh, want to um, open anything. So just finish. Okay. Once you have done, you go back and then select MDK ARM and then fill your uh, all the information again, which is already populated. And then select submit. And then you're going to install mdk538e.exe. So this is a larger file. So it's going to take a while. Um, so it's going to take a while as in. And in the meantime, on your course module, you can also install mdk79525.exe which is your legacy support for ARM7 that we need for this course. So click on this as well, and this will be downloading. So yeah, so you click in this, and then you download as well. So once the both of the downloads are complete, then we are going to install one by one. And this file is going to take a little bit while to download and install. So please uh, be patient with me on this. Uh, if you're watching a recorded video, then you can skip a little bit so that uh, you don't have to wait.
So once this installation is complete, then we will select we will um, select this and ask for installation. It's almost complete. Downloading. Almost there. So now you click it, so it will open it. And it's going to take a little bit while. Select yes. And then next, select accept the license. And this is the place where everything will be installed. Next, and leave it like this. Okay. And then it is, this is going to take a little bit while to install as this is a large file. If you're watching this video, you can skip over a little bit so that you come at the end of the installation. Okay, and this is going to install all the required drivers. Then select finish. Okay, and then this is a pack installer that will uh, that will pop up on your screen once the installation is complete. And this is also going to take a little bit while to read all the packs. Um, you can press okay. So this dialog is start up, okay. And then you will see that this is all going to read all the packs. We don't have to do anything. We are mainly concerned about that you have a ARM CMSIS and ARM CMSIS driver installed. That's what we actually need for most part. And in this case, and in this case, CMSIS means the Cortex microcontroller software interface is standard. And CMSIS will have a, a something called as a core. So this is uh, basically the core, the thing we need that defines all of the API for Cortex-M processor core and peripherals and include a consistent system startups. Um, and we all also, this driver is, is required that contains a startup for what we need to create and run applications on the native processor and as well as for the simulation. So once it's done, it looks like this is already done. So you can close this. Now, what we will be needing is that we will need to install a legacy support. So earlier in your in your from your canvas, you installed this one. Oh, sorry, you downloaded this one. Now you need to install this. So press this, and this will support the legacy. So select yes, and then next, next, next. Next, and then this is going to install. Then, 
we will also be needing a new pack for NXP LPC 1756 that is also available in your um, canvas page. So you select this and then you download. Okay, this is not required for your uh, ARM 7, but we will also be looking at Cortex M3 so later. So for that, this is uh, necessary. And this is currently installed the legacy pack for ARM 7 and let it complete. Okay, and then finish. And then select this pack. Uh, this pack already installed, okay. It looks like I already installed it, but you I can install again to show you how does it look like. Okay, finish. Now you can type Kyle, and so you will see appearing Kyle Microvision 5. On the desktop, also, you can see Kyle Microvision 5 installed. Now I will right click this and run as administrator. So what we will be doing is that we will be requesting a trial version of the professional license. So for that, I select file, the license management, and then click evaluate MDK professional license. Okay. And computer name, ID, et cetera, et cetera. So I will be needing this. And this is what we have information. Select. Uh, I am not a robot. And stairs, stairs, stairs. This is the your capture verification and plus select submit. Okay, and then in the email you should be able to get a license code. So this is your license code. You copy this and then paste here. Add license. Okay, and then you press close. Then after that, you close it. And now we will be starting Kyle Microvision 5 again, but now you, you don't need to restart it as administrator. Okay, and let's see if the installation is complete or not. What I want to see is that new Microvision 5, I will say test R, okay, and then save. And then you go to the legacy device database because we are interested in ARM 7 that was covered in the class. And in search type LPC 2148. Okay. And then press OK. It will ask you copy startup.s project folder and I find project. We don't need to do that. So I press no. Okay. And that's all. This is how you, you verify that you have completed your uh, installation successfully. So I stop recording. I stop.